graphic new video was released in the case of a man who died outside a downtown hotel. The medical examiner released the autopsy report today, ruling Devontae Mitchell's death is a homicide. Stephanie Quirk joins us live downtown with this new surveillance video that shows the moments leading up to his death. Yeah, William Sultan, the attorney representing Mitchell's family, held a press conference earlier where he showed this new surveillance video from the Hyatt, which he says he obtained through a subpoena. I do want to warn you, what I'm about to show you is graphic. Now, in this first video, you can see Mitchell being dragged outside by a member of the hotel staff and a man Sultan says was a guest at the Hyatt on June 30th. The video also shows one hotel employee beating Mitchell and seconds later, another employee punches him before dragging him out to the sidewalk. The second video shows a different angle from outside of Mitchell being thrown to the sidewalk and punched. It then shows four employees holding him down until police arrive. We know that once officers arrived, Mitchell was unresponsive. In this last video, it shows minutes before he was dragged outside, running through the lobby and entering the women's bathroom. Only a minute or so later, Mitchell is seen being pulled out of the bathroom by an employee who holds on to Mitchell while bringing him through the hotel lobby towards the exit. That employee and a hotel guest is seen on camera punching Mitchell and dragging him outside. We now know from the medical examiner, Mitchell's final cause of death is listed as restraint asphyxia and toxic effects of cocaine and methamphetamine. It also noted that the injury was caused when Mitchell was restrained in prone position by multiple individuals after drug use. We're just fighting for basic, simple justice here. We're not asking for any special treatment. We're not asking for anything extraordinary. A man beaten to death on a sidewalk? Yeah, charges should be issued. If he was wrong, he could have went to jail. I would have felt so much better about that. Not this. It's not fair. Now, the district's attorney's office is still reviewing felony murder charges referred by uh, Milwaukee Police Department for those four individuals uh, that held Mitchell down on June 30th. They have since been fired from the Hyatt. At this time, though, no charges have been filed. Sultan is also calling on the Hyatt to compensate Mitchell's family. Reporting live outside the Hyatt, Stephanie Quirk, Fox 6 News. We'll see what the DA does with this big decision. Stephanie Quirk joining us live. Our coverage of the death of Devontae Mitchell goes much further on fox6now.com. There you can read previous stories on this case as well as any new updates we receive.